This is our seventh session now on Ephesians 4, 11 to 14, and I said that last time we would focus on this word until. And he gave some to be, so the risen Christ gave to his church, apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds and teachers, for the equipping of all the saints, the Christians, for the work of ministry or service of endless numbers of kinds, for the building up of the body of Christ, that is the church conceived of as God's body, the the mature man, the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, until So all of that goes on until we attain the unity of the faith and the unity of the knowledge of the Son of God to a mature man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning and craftiness in deceitful schemes. So, Father, as we try to understand this time frame here and what it implies about our ministry today, grant us insight into the way Paul thought. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, just to remind us, apostles and prophets, according to chapter 2, verse 20, were foundational for the church. And in that sense, their work as foundation is done, and we have their results now in the New Testament, which is the foundation of ministry. He gave evangelists, so evangelists take that foundation, declare it as gospel to the world, And people are converted and come into flocks, churches, and there there are shepherds whose main work is done by teaching. And that shepherding through teaching equips all believers for manifold ministries of the church, which then build up the body of Christ. Now, the question is, how long does that go on? What will be the end of all of that ministry there? And the answer is, it will go on until we attain to this double unity, the unity of faith and the unity of the knowledge of the Son of God, until there is a a church that can be identified as a mature man, this body of of Christ, pictured as a mature man, described as the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. This body is going to be mature, it's going to be full, so that we may be no longer children. So, how long is that? Does it mean that we will experience or pursue all of this church ministry until this unity happens perfectly on the earth, until this perfection of manhood emerges as a church on the earth, this fullness of Christ, and then the second coming happens? Or does this get completed at the second coming and we pursue it until then? Just a verse here to show that that word until in Paul's mind does have the second coming in mind sometimes. 1 Timothy 6.14, keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the, the appearing of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So things, certain things go on until the coming of the Lord. Now, here are two passages that point me to the alternative meaning, namely, this pursuit of unity, perfect unity of faith, perfect unity of the knowledge, perfect mature manhood, 
perfect stature of the fullness of Christ goes on not to be completed before the coming of Christ, but to be pursued until it is completed at the coming of Christ. Here's Philippians 1.6. And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will be bringing it to completion until, that's a different word, this, I put it in Greek here just to remind myself and you that this is an ongoing act that happens to a point. That's the implication of this word, until the day of Christ, because it's sometimes translated um, that this work will be completed uh, at the day of Jesus Christ. Now, that, I think that's true, but that's not what this word ordinarily means. This word ordinarily means there's a process that goes on and it reaches a point. Until that point, it's happening, which is why I translated this, will be bringing to completion until the day of Christ, on which day it is finished. That is, it will be finished. It will be completed. Christ will snap his finger and in the twinkling of an eye, we will have new bodies and we will be a perfect church, but not until that time. And the reason I say not until that time is because of this text in 1 Corinthians 13. We know in part, our knowledge here is imperfect and partial, and we prophesy in part. But when the perfect comes, that's the second coming, when the perfect comes, the partial will pass away. Up until that time, It remains partial. Now we see in a mirror dimly. So as we pursue the unity of the faith and the unity of the knowledge of God, until the perfect comes, our knowledge is imperfect, our faith is imperfect, but then, at the coming of Christ, when the perfect comes, then we will see in a new way, know in a new way, face to face, Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So this seems to me to teach that in this present age, we are to pursue this attainment. We do church. We fulfill all these commands from the Lord to be the church until, until, we attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God until the church becomes a mature man, until the church is the measure of the stature of the fullness of crime, but not implying that that must happen before the second coming, but rather is pursued to whatever measure of fullness we can attain in this world and at the second coming Christ completes it. Now, I don't think that interpretation is contradicted by this so that. A person might look at that so that and say, oh, look, this fullness has to be completed. This maturity has to be completed. This unity has to be perfected because in this age, we are not to be any longer children. We're not to be tossed about. We're not to be carried about by every wind of doctrine. We're not to be vulnerable to cunning and craftiness now. And so, since this is relevant now, therefore this must happen now. And I don't think that's a valid inference from what went before. Rather, I think the logic of so that works just fine by saying we are to do all of this building up of the body of Christ continually and the equipping of the saints continually, and the pursuit of, until we attain, the pursuit of this unity of faith, and this unity of knowledge, and this maturity of man, and this fullness of Christ, because in that pursuit, and whatever measure of success God gives us, we will have this result. To the degree that we grow up, to the degree that we become mature, we will be no longer children. 
So, I think the interpretation of verse 13, until, is let's be about being faithful churches, doing all that God set us to do, and we will do it as long as this age lasts, and we will pursue as much unity of the faith, as much unity of the knowledge, as much maturity and fullness as we possibly can with this effect. But at the coming of Christ, the partial will be replaced by the complete, and the imperfect will be replaced by the perfect.